We're out in front on National Barbecue Month and National Barbecue Day. And Jason Ganahl is here from GQ up in Westminster. Good to see you. Thanks for you coming too. in this morning. This, the We're gonna, barbecue handshake. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I got that. We're going to cook on this little grill. <laughs> We're gonna make teeny little ribs. No, 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 we're not gonna do that. You brought in this huge slab of ribs here. Now people I think sometimes are a little afraid of cooking ribs because it does require some experience. And the, the rule always seems to be slow, right? Yeah, you can go slow and low or you can go hot and fast. Okay, you, you're a slow and low guy. We do slow and low. Now you have, you have secrets that you can't tell us about like that rub, but people can buy your rub, right? Yeah, I can't tell you what's in the rub, <laughs> but anybody can get the rub. You can go online, you can go to our website, GQ Barbecue, you can purchase the rub, and also we sell it in the store every day as well, too. Well, let, let's go to rubbing. Have you put sure. anything on this? This is a St. Louis cut, right? So this is a St. Louis cut rib. The St. Louis spares hang right below the baby backs mm -hmm. on a pig. And then they're actually trimmed down to what's called the St. Louis style, and that's how you get this rectangular shape. Okay. And then what you do is you put on your favorite rub, and of course we like the rub. Yeah. So we put just a light coat of that. And do you just throw it on or do you actually give it a rub? Uh, we don't we don't rub it in. We just okay. let it we just let it kind of soak its way into the meat and stuff. Rub in name only. So we put a uh, a light coat on both sides and then because this rub is got a lot of different stuff in it, it doesn't need anything else. Okay. Now that will hit the grill and and how do you manage the temperatures on like on that grill? Or, or, I mean, an oven you can control a little easier, right? Yeah, that's correct. And so that's, I mean, that's where the experience comes sure. in, right? So every grill is going to work a little bit differently. Uh, this particular pit is a drum smoker, so it, it does a good job of kind of regulating its own temperature through these valves right here. Right. But there's no, ex there's no experience for experience when it comes to managing a fire. So I can't tell you how long it'll take because it depends on how hot you're cooking it. But what's a, what's are some ballpark figures as far as how long you need to cook? So we got this toothpick right here. Mm -hmm. And what I, what I teach people to do is use a toothpick. And when it gets to the right texture that you like, then it's done. Because some people like their meat falling off the bones right. and some don't. And what I also encourage the viewers to do is we make videos on YouTube. We have a YouTube channel called GQ Barbecue where we have tips for the amateur cook and for the more experienced cook that they can go there and they can watch 10-minute videos on how to make awesome ribs every single time. I get the feeling that a lot of people cook with heart, but barbecuers, the real barbecue, there's a passion there. there there's like a, a lust for learning and cooking. Yeah, well, we're on TV today because it's National Barbecue Day. Yeah. However, we think National Barbecue Day is every single day. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, you have some sides here as well. Of course, we have the traditional baked beans. Those are at the restaurant, right? Yeah, so those are our smoke pit beans. Uh, we cook those for about four hours on a rotisserie pit, so they have a good smoky flavor to them. You can tell by the color that they've been well smoked. Right. We also put them underneath the ribs during the cooking process. So as the ribs cook, they catch all the they pork share. fat, yeah. which gives them a very unique flavor. And, and What's well, the pink too. here? That's a coleslaw. So that, that's, that's red cabbage that's just bled through uh, some, a vinegar dressing that we have. That's a tart Granny Smith apple in there as well, too, that goes really well with our sweet vinegar-based dressing. There's no mayonnaise in there, so it's very light. It's very refreshing and goes awesome with a pork sandwich. What's this? I've never seen this. <laughs> what is that? Is that's that a, a cold happy beer? drink right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's a cold beer. That goes good with ribs, too. Well, if you, if you want to get them done right, you can head up to GQ up in Westminster on 120th. Yep. People can check out Jason's place up there. It's got the YouTube channel as well if you want to learn how to do it yourself. Uh, so maybe you can get out and do a little cooking on National Barbecue Month. We've got a couple couple days to go in the month and today's the day. Awesome. Thank Thanks. you very much. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There I forgot. Go. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to get a little taste test coming up a little bit. Oh, you guys have good. Yeah. Oh, great. Elbow bump that. Thank you. Oh. Mm. All right. We'll see you in a second.